Hi, in this video, I wanted to demonstrate for you the benefits of using paragraph styles to organize a long Microsoft Word document. Now, I have here in front of me a uh, just a quick document that I opened and I plugged a bunch of text in here and it's all just sample text, it's just nonsense. But I wanted to show you that you can order your paper and make it more navigable when you use paragraph styles and the navigation pane. The two work in conjunction with each other. In order to use the navigation pane, uh, which I'll show you the benefits of that in a minute, you need to apply header styles from the paragraph styles window. So let me just show you how to do that. Now, first of all, this is ordinarily here. Now, I like it here because it makes things easy to see, but I'm just going to close this to show you how I uh, got that over there. Just go up here to your paragraph styles window and Use this little arrow right here, and it will pop up your Styles dialog box. Set it over here to your right. Okay. Now, just quickly, the um, reason why you'd want to use heading levels is so that you can order your information in a hierarchical manner. So, you know, the most important sections of a paper will be level one. The most, the next level would be level two, and this sort of thing. I'm sure that you've seen all of this and reviewed all of this in your. Uh, college courses or even high school level courses. So that's the um, that's the benefit of using styles and headings. And the navigation pane can help you to quickly move through uh, the various sections of your paper so that you can find information really quickly. It works almost like an outline. And I'll show you how to use the navigation pane in just a moment. All right, so here I have this document where I have these headings uh, that I just plunked in here. And let's just show you how to use the Styles dialog box. Now, uh, highlight the level, highlight the uh, first line of text and call that your heading level one. Okay, and then the next level you will highlight and uh, you know expand your box a little bit or you can use this over here like I already have this out so I might as well use it. Uh, highlight your level two and select heading two. Okay now let's just go through here as a short example so we can get this done in no time. Select your heading one and apply a paragraph style. Heading level two apply your paragraph style. Heading level one again. It's just going through here. Level two, uh, level one, Again, level two, again, heading level one again, heading level two again. Oh, and here's, I think, the last one on the page, level one. Okay, so there you can see um, some system of headings here. Now, this level two headings are bigger than level one, so that can't be right. So let's modify one of these styles. And maybe you don't like the blue color. Let's change that too. Go over to the Styles dialog box and right click on your heading 2 and this uh, pop-up menu appears. Select the Modify button. And here you have one of these, you know, paragraph styling boxes. And uh, Aptos, I don't like that, but I like uh, Calibri. Calibri, let's see if we can get it. There we go. And let's make it, whoops, it didn't stay. I guess I have to absolutely type the whole thing in there and press Enter. And then, um, Let's make it a size 12, and I don't like this blue. Let's make it a nice black, and press OK. Now, do you see how all of your heading level 2s, if this were a 300-page paper, would change automatically to the formatting that you just updated your headings to? So that is a really nice feature of using paragraph styles. Uh, there really is no other way. Like, you, if you weren't using paragraph styles, you'd have to go through and find all your headings and change them probably one by one. I, you could use search and uh, replace, I guess, find and replace, but um, it's just easier to keep track of everything using the paragraph styles. All right, um, now just for the heck of it, I'm going to make those paragraph, the heading twos, bold so you can see them a little better. There we go. Now, um, if you're wondering, about this paragraph style here, it's just the normal text, okay? And I think I've already modified that to make it, uh, to make it a calibri, calibri. You can find some of the information about the formatting of your headings in this little floater window here off to the side that it pops up when you're hovering over any of your headings. 
So, but anyway, if you don't like a style, you can change it in the way that I showed you. Okay, now for navigation, let's just pull up that pane, go up to your home ribbon and select this tab called View. And there's a button here on the Show section called Navigation Pane. And here you go. Here are all your headings listed out for you right here. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to move through the different headings, let's say I called this one, uh, I wanted to find it quickly, and I just said heading, heading, heading level uh, cats and dogs are raining today. All right, so, and there you can see that in your headings uh, navigation pane, you can distinguish between your headings in that way. You can just find the heading that you're interested in locating by looking at the context of the uh, text itself. Now, um, again, these are the navigation pane helps you to keep things organized to see the structure of your paper and to find things quickly. Let's look at some of the other things that you can do with these tabs. Pages also serves as a like a smaller view of all the pages that you have. I only have like one page here. Let's just see what happens if I copied and pasted. Let's go to copy and paste this and I'll show you how it makes a you know separate page. Okay? And let's see if the headings update. And they do. So wonderful. Now, another great benefit of this, okay, supposing you want cats and dogs raining, you don't want that as your second uh, section up here. You want to move that down um, in another section of your paper. You can just move your um, headings like this, say, and it will automatically go to a heading level one. Um, you know, organizational space. You don't have to worry too much, like, am I putting it in the exact right, you know, order of this tree? It will, you know, go into a heading level one uh, space in the pane. Now, that's a very nice feature to have, okay? So, the, the navigation pane is twofold. It helps you to, you know, move around your document to find things and to move content really quickly. And you'll notice that it wasn't just the heading that went with it, it was all of the information that went along with that heading as well. Okay, now, so we looked at pages. We can see that we have these two miniature views. Those are nice too. You can also help uh, find things in your document in that sort of way. And now let's look at this results. Okay, now this isn't looking like it's doing much here, but let's just say, well, I know that there's a section in here that says something about cats and dogs, and I want to find that. Well, I can put cats and dogs up here, and we'll see if we can find it. Oh, yes, we can. See? Now, this is what you can use the results for. Okay, and it will, uh, I guess when I duplicated those paragraph sections, I now have two levels of <laughs> information about raining cats and dogs. Um, so anyway, you can click on whichever reference it is, and you uh, will be brought immediately to that reference. You don't have to search through 100 different pages to find it. It's just all nice and handy, and so these are wonderful things that you can do with the navigation pane and your uh, paragraph styles dialog box. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one.